welcome to day uh, day six of our uh, glimpses of psalms and today we've got a really encouraging psalm psalm 139 and it says in that psalm it says for you formed my inward parts you knitted me together in my mother's womb i praise you for i am fearfully and wonderfully made wonderfully wonderful are your works and my soul knows it very well See, Psalm 139 is probably the most profound meditation on God's intimate knowledge and integration of each of us individuals. These verses highlight the care and precision that God, which God has made us and emphasises our unique and in, intentional design. So, for you were formed, my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. You know, this imagery of God forming our inward parts and knitting us together speaks of his hands of involvement in our creation. It portrays a picture of uh, meticulous craftsmanship, showing that every aspect of our being is purposefully designed by God. And this should instill a real sense of value and worth in each of us, knowing we are the work of his hands. You see, it says, I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. The te- term for, uh, fearfully implies a sense of awe and reverence, while wonderfully signifies that we are made in a way that is unique and set apart. You see, it's recognising that we are fearfully and wonderfully made should lead us to worship and gratitude, acknowledging God's uh, extraordinary work in creating us. So let's look at wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. And this affirmation just reinforces the truth that God's creation, including ourselves, are inherently good and wonderful. It is a call to internalise and deeply understand the goodness of God's works, leading to a deeper appreciation and acceptance of who we are. So as we reflect on the truth that you are created with intention and care, let's embrace uh, our unique qualities and recognise that they are part of God's perfect design. When self-doubt or insecurity arises, just remind yourself that you are fearfully and wonderfully made by a loving creator. So make it a habit to thank God for his marvellous works, including your own creation. Daily uh, give gratitude for how God has made you um, can transform your perspectives, fostering a positive and appreciative attitude towards yourself and others. So as we living out, you know, as we live out our purpose, let's recognise that being wonderfully made includes having a unique purpose. Let's seek God's guidance to understand and to live out the purpose He has for our lives. And let's engage in activities and pursuits that align with our our God-given talents and passions, contributing positively to the world around us. So as we go through with this, let's encourage others. Let's use the truth of Psalm 139 to encourage and uplift others. Let's remind friends, family and those who who, who, uh, you mentor that they too are fearfully and wonderfully made. And help them to see the worth and the potential as God's unique creation. And as we deepen our relationship with God, let's be understanding that God has created you with such care. Which should lead to a deeper relationship with him. Spend time in prayer and meditation seeking to know more about the creator who knows you intimately. And allow this knowledge to draw you closer to God and fostering a trust and love. So, Lord, thank you for creating us fearfully and wonderfully and help us to recognise and to embrace our unique design and purpose and let the knowledge of your intricate creation fill us with awe and gratitude. Guide us to live out our purpose and to encourage others in recognising their worth in you. Amen. Well, what a beautiful psalm to meditate on today. And uh, I just pray that as this psalm uh, goes out, that uh, it will bring, uh, bring you encouragement 
and help to um, overcome the day's things. So until tomorrow, uh, I shall see you then.